If a non-Muslim accepts that God is one and Jesus is not the son of God, but doesn't accept Islam 100%, what advice do you have to make them accept Islam? Okay, so repeat it again because I missed the very portion of the last. If they accept that God is one and Jesus is not the son of God, what advice do you have to give to make them complete their whole belief in becoming Muslim? Sure, if someone believes that God is only one, alone, with no partners, and they believe Jesus is a messenger of God, they are pretty much already there. They are on the footsteps of Islam. They are on the footsteps of Islam. The only thing required of them now is to also include in their beliefs, belief in the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, and accepting that, saying that I believe there's only one God, and that Muhammad is his messenger, and Jesus is also his messenger and his slave, and they will be a Muslim. This is as simple as it gets. And you know, one thing that about Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, I was telling um, Sheikh Haytham yesterday on our way back, that when I accepted Islam, I went to the Imam's house after reading the Quran, and I told him I want to be a Muslim. He said, why? Because he was shocked. I'd only been gone for three days. I said, because I read this book, and it is what you say it is. It is the truth from God. He said, okay, hold on a second. To be a Muslim, you have to believe there's only one God. I said, I got that. That's what the book says. <laughs> I told you I believe in that book. He said, okay, but in order to be a Muslim, you also have to believe in the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, as a messenger. I said, hold on a second. He said, so come in, let me tell you about Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa I said, ask, answer me one question about Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa and that'll be all I need. He said, what? I said, did he give us this book? Is he the one who gave us this book? He said, yes. I said, then he's a messenger. That's it. This is his testimony. This is his evidence. This book is the evidence of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And I want to ask all of you a question real quick before I don't get a chance to. I got five minutes. Anyone in here who believes in Moses, raise your hand. Hmm. Good number. Put your hand down. How many of you believe that Moses did miracles? Raise your hand. I have another ijma in the room. How many of you witnessed with your own two physical eyes one of the miracles that Moses performed in his lifetime? Raise your hand. Got no vampires in the room that have lived that long? No, nope, so nobody was there. Okay, we got that out of the way. How many of you believe in Jesus? Raise your hand. Oh, by the way, for our guests, put your hands down. If you don't believe in Jesus, you can't be a Muslim. It's a tenet of faith. We are one of the only world religions, the only world religion that says you must believe in Jesus Christ in order to be a Muslim. If you don't, you're not. How many of you believe Jesus did miracles? Raise your hand. Lots of them. Hands down. How many one of you witnessed one of the miracles Jesus performed in his lifetime with your own two physical eyes? You watched him and you saw it or you saw the person who he did it to or you saw the wine that he turned from water or you saw Lazarus or you met one of these things he did. How many of you witnessed it? No, none of us were here at that time, right? That's gone, it's past. How many of you in here believe in Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam? How many of you believe he did miracles? Anyone in this room witnessed with their own two physical eyes one of the miracles that Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam did in his lifetime? What is that miracle? The Quran. The Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him said every prophet was sent with miracles to prove who he was. And the miracle that I was sent with was the Quran. You can say the splitting of the moon, there's still evidence by NASA that the moon was once cracked in half and all this, forget about that. I can go get a Quran off that table and give it to you and say, here's the miracle of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. This is why we say about him, Muhammad is the messenger of Allah. Jesus was the messenger of Allah. Moses was the messenger of Allah. But Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is the messenger of Allah and he will be into the day of judgment.